Hi, so um, this week we're going to talk about video and um, this is going to be what I hope is a short lecture on branding with video. Um, I'm not going to talk quite so much about the actual act of storytelling with this um, because I would hope by now you realize that um, storytelling follows, good storytelling follows the same general pattern and that is true whether you're dealing with the written word, um, video, with pictures, with audio, it all conforms to that, you know, three-act or five-act pyramid, Freitag's pyramid. That's the sort of complete story. And then, you know, depending on what you need to do with it, you can take a few shortcuts or, you know, add in a couple of extra points if you need to. But the the idea is, however, that when you're telling a good story, um, the medium doesn't matter so much. It's the story structure that merit matters and your ability to use the story structure. All of that said, what I don't, what I want you all to know, what I think is really important to understand is the importance of video in any content marketing or content branding strategy. Um, this is not necessarily a content marketing class, but since we're talking about strategic communication and since it's all business related, the fact is you're going to be moving into content marketing, the idea that you're marketing with your stories. Um, and you should understand how important video is to that because um, I'm not always sure that it, it gets understood the way it needs to be understood. So here I go. So I'm going to start with telling you that video is key to your strategic storytelling efforts, right? Um, that we have a number of outlets for, for video. Um, I had to change the slide today um, because Vine disappeared on me. But what we, what we have left with, and new ones could start tomorrow, um, is um, sort of the king or queen of the video heap is YouTube. Um, and I'll tell you why in the next slide, but it's just, it's the gorilla in the room. Um, and then we have Instagram, which is becoming really popular. We have Facebook that wants to pretend it's as popular as Instagram, but I'm actually not sure it is. And that's for a number of reasons, but some of which is that the content um, disappears. Well, it disappears on Instagram too, but um, Instagram is a visually oriented medium. Um, but nonetheless, video on Facebook is important. Facebook will tell you how important it is. And certainly, you should consider putting video up on Facebook. And then there's Snapchat and Snapchat Stories. And last, we have Periscope, which, of course, is sort of the live um, broadcasting, mini broadcast, as you were, um, that is also can be very key to uh, content marketing or strategic storytelling um, attempts. So why YouTube? Why is YouTube the uh, you know thousand pound gorilla in the room? Um, well, almost one third of all the people on the internet are users of YouTube. Over a billion people. Um, they uh, watch for hundreds of millions of hours every day, generating billions of views. I mean, it's just an amazing quantity. A video that is uploaded and then watched on YouTube. It reaches more 18 to 34 year olds and 18 to 49 year olds than any cable network in the United States. And that's even if you only count mobile views on YouTube. So it is a tremendous, um, a tremendously huge platform for reaching people. Um, which is what it makes it makes it so valuable. Um, Facebook video has been uh, pushing itself recently. It, it only just recently started releasing the number of hundreds of millions of hours per day that are watched. Um, and they proudly announced the 100 million hours per day being watched on Facebook. But the fact is that YouTube has roughly 7 million hours of video that is watched per day. So it is about seven times the amount of video is watched on YouTube as on Facebook. So I hope that's convinced you that 
you want to make video and you probably want some of it to be on YouTube. Um, but then we're left with what makes a good branded video. And the, the rules are probably the, are the same again as almost any good story, any good bit of content that you're using for content marketing. Um, it needs to be engaging, right? You have to know your audience. You need to consistently provide value, which implies a schedule, but it also implies that it's something that your audience needs that or that they want. And lastly, it needs to be easy to find and easy to share because if they can't find it, they'll never see it. And if they can't share it, you're not going to get those earned views that are so important um, for uh, marketing or for, so for social marketing. It also needs to be adaptable. Um, you need to know your audience well, um, so you need to have be in touch with their needs and you need to make it relevant. But um, you also have to be aware of the fact that inevitably something is going to go wrong and you're going to make a mistake and you need to be adaptable when you are uh, when you miss or when you're misinterpreted. I'm thinking right now um, if anyone's been following the controversy with Amy Schumer and her lemonade parody that she did. Um, I found whether or not you think it was a horrible thing or, or, or not, I have found the fact that she has now consistently gone on social media to address the fact that I didn't intend for it to be taken this way and look, I'm on title, which guess what, Beyonce and Jay-Z own title and um, I certainly don't think it offended them. Um, but that's an example of being, you know, you have to be adaptable, you need to realize that if you make a mistake, you need to perhaps change something, right? And lastly, you need to have, well, not lastly, but middly, thirdly, you need to have well-told stories, content that resonates with your audience. You need to be authentic. I cannot stress enough that if, you're, if you are not authentic in a social medium, you will be found out. And video is inherently a social medium because you want people to share it. And it also has to be memorable, right? If it, if it is content that resonates and it is authentic and it is memorable, then you can inspire action. You can have conversions. You can get people to do what it is you need them to do, even if it's just go back to your web page or your blog, which remember all of your videos should be pointing back to your blog um, so they can get to know you better. Um, but a really good medium for inspiring that kind of action, making that conversion is the branded video. Now you also want your video to be short or better than short is concise because it's not so much how many seconds or how many minutes your video takes, but that it gets to the point and that every second is valuable, that you show you value your audience's time and you are delivering to them some value with each, for every moment that they're watching, they're getting something from it. So it can be as long as it needs to be. What it can't do is take forever to unfold. It probably also can't be a half an hour long, but I mean, if that half an hour is like a Game of Thrones, oh my God, I can't stop watching half an hour, then maybe it can be a half an hour. So what you're looking for is concision or elegance. You need to make as short as you can without losing any of the value or emotional re relevance, resonance. And that last emotional resonance is another thing you need. You need needs to resonate emotionally with your audience. You know, it needs to be hilarious. It needs to be heartwarming, or it needs to be passionate. Or even if you're just providing information, it needs to be authentic. I don't know, earnest information. It needs people need to feel like they're getting something, and you are you're helping them, right? You're reaching out to them. You are including them. Okay. What you can't have is some sort of bland middle ground, right? Where it's not really funny, it's not really heartwarming, and I'm not really sure if I wanted this information anyway. Um, so you need to make sure that you do have some sort of emotional content that's resonating with your audience. More on the what kind of video do you want to use? Um, repurposed commercials are not the answer. 
um, while obviously, particularly for larger brands, that would seem to be something they have a lot of, and some of them do put commercials you know, on their site. In fact, actually, a lot of people put commercials on their site. About one-third of the branded content on YouTube is commercials, right? However, it only accounts for about one-tenth of what's viewed. So it's pretty clear that the audience would rather see other things than repurposed commercials. So then what kind of video are you going to produce? And um, here we have a pyramid um, that goes from the bottom, which is, um, well, I have it labeled hygiene. Um, it used to be called hygiene, but now we call it help, help video, which makes more sense. And then we have hub video and hero, hero video. And I'm going to explain them from the bottom to the top. Um, help video does exactly what it's you think it would, right? It answers your customers' questions, and it usually also includes how-to videos, right? If you want to see how this works, um, Matt Cuts of Google does it on YouTube. And I have a link for you if you want to follow it. And that's the video that you will produce the most and that you will have the most of on your page. And it is also a video that is designed um, for people to search for it and find it. Then you have hub video. Hub videos are things that your customers look forward to seeing that's sort of designed specifically for your customers. A little bit more high end, you produce it a little less often. It can be product demonstrations. It can be um, a series that you're running either on your company or on your product, right? And last, at the top, we have the hero video. And the hero video are the special videos, often narratives, right? Which has got that special story that you want to tell. Um, they can be more expensive to produce. Um, and you produce them, therefore, less often, right? And those are the kinds of videos that we're, we will be talking about. But I want to spend a minute, a minute on instructional videos, right? Um, and I know I'm getting away from storytelling again here, um, but it's it's kind of an important thing since you need you're going to need regular content if you are looking to produce videos and have a video marketing presence. Um, let's not let's talk about how not only easy to do, but um, and relatively inexpensive but how uh, valuable instructional videos can be. Um, you know, when a customer or a consumer needs to fix or upgrade or replace or customize something, right, that you sell, um, they're going to start on Google and ask, how do I? And since YouTube is integrated, owned by Google, the, some of the stuff that comes out at the very top are going to be videos. And if your videos end up because they're good enough in the very top, right? Then people are going to be introduced to your brand. Um, this includes, you know, uh, video tutorial sites, for instance. It, you know, if you're interested in how, what, you know, how to edit with iMovie on iOS, right? And I have a link to a video. If you can also Google that and you will see um, how many usually pretty good instructional videos come up and the best one, the one with the most views will be on top. And that's what you, you want, right? Um, I wanted to buy a replacement chain for my chainsaw. I am not a chainsaw expert. In fact, I think there's some disagreement about whether I should be allowed to own one, but nonetheless, I do. And I needed to replace the chain. And I didn't know a whole lot about what those numbers meant. So I went, you know, I looked it up and then I went to a video on YouTube and the chainsaw chain company that had the video that told me what those numbers meant so I could be sure to get the chain that exactly fit my chainsaw was indeed the company I bought from. Why? Because they told me how to do it and they had a handy link that sent me to their web page so I could make my purchase. If you're talking about a, a small business, right? You know, if, if you're a pool cleaning company, um, you can set your videos up so that they specifically respond to searches in a very local area. And you can, you know, I don't know anything about pool cleaning, but let's just pretend that there's some particularly easy filter cleaning thing that you can do all by yourself, right? And then once I've explained to you how to do that, right? 
I am your hero and not in the, you know, I am your hero. And then when you need someone to come out and really clean your pool, you might very well call me. So the last thing I want to talk about is having a schedule because you need to have one. You need to be consistent. You need to be consistently releasing videos so that people know that, um, that they can depend on you as a source of information or to provide things that are interesting. Right. And to do that, you need to have an editorial schedule like you have for any sort of content that you're creating. But you also need to have, um, because it's video, what we call a programming strategy. And that's what kind of videos will I be releasing when? And it probably, you know, just diagram it out. Right. And um, again, we're going to talk about the fact that most of your video is going to be that help video because it's easy to make and relatively cheap. Um, and then you would have some hub video interspersed with that. And every once in a while, again, on a consistent basis, however, you would have hero video. So once you have that sort of laid out on your calendar, it becomes a lot easier to manage your video or even better to hand it off for other people to create. And you can just manage from a slightly higher um, management position, right? Um, and you know you're going to be getting these these help videos coming in all the time, and we'll space those out like this. And then every once in a while, we're putting more videos in this series that we, we have. And lastly, every once in a while, someone decides to jump, you know, out of a perfectly good spaceship through outer space and free fall down to the earth, and that's our hero video.